Hey guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card, and as promised, I'm back with another video featuring the large die of the month die set by Spellbinders, who were kind enough to send me um, these dies free of charge. Now, I'm going to be featuring this bow die today. I'm actually going to focus exclusively on the die, but if you missed my first video, which you totally should have watched, um, so this is the entire set, uh, like both both sides of the, um, of the storage uh, sleeve that I just shown here. Um, so check out the first video if you want to see more about the details of those dies. I have a piece of cardstock here and I adhere double-sided adhesive to one side because I want to put glitter on it. This is Elizabeth's Crafts glitter in the color Vintage Pink and all supplies are, as always, um, linked in the description below. After applying the glitter, I always rub it with my hand just to make sure that the glitter sets so all the excess is wiped off and also it starts like to, to glimmer a lot more. Um, it's a lot more shiny once you've set it with your hand and it doesn't hurt your hand or anything so you can do that, it's quite safe. I'm going to die cut uh, the bow using the Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine which was also sent to me by Spellbinders. It uh, cuts just fine, um, but since I have this layer of adhesive, I like to run it through like three times just to be sure. And then I'm using the tool in one, which is like this pokey tool, um, also from Spellbinders, to easily um, remove all the parts of the, the die cut that I do not need. You can see it's quite easy to get everything out, and I'm just using the brush end here to um, carefully get the actual die cut out that I want to use. Um, this time I was smarter. I didn't use um, double-sided double -sided adhesive on the back uh, as well. I'm just using Tombow Mono glue here, applying it uh, to the die cut itself, and then I'm going, going to glue it on my cardstock. And the good thing about the Tombow Mono is um, it dries completely clear and not glossy, and that means that if you, you know, apply a little bit too much and it squeezes out off to the side, you won't really see it later on. So, but you should still not use too much. So here you go, you can see the beautiful shimmer that you can apply to this intricate die cut with the glitter. Of course you can just color it or cut it from um, colored cardstock, whatever you want. Now I've also cut um, a few this, the same bow a few times from basically plain white cardstock. And what I'm doing here is I'm adhering it all over and uh, all over this panel around the colored um, piece. Just using some Tombow Mono here to make sure that everything is staying where it's supposed to go. And it's completely fine that it hangs off the page. I will just trim this down with my scissors. Um, I'm just filling up all the empty space here around um, the glitter bow. Oh, I love glitter. Can you tell? It's just, yeah. And also this bow is so beautiful. It's so... Um, it's so intricate, you have so much detail in there that really you can use this one die to create an entire card. And that's just what I love. I absolutely love that kind of stuff. So here you can see the subtle texture that we added by um, adding the white bows to the panel. And in the middle you have this beautiful glitter bow that really stands out. I'm spraying this with a mixture of water and perfect pearls just to add some additional shimmer to the rest of the card. Then I'm using the sentiment Hello Beautiful from the Simon Says Stamp Summer Garden Stamp Set and I'm going to stamp this on vellum. I bought some stays on ink just to be sure that the ink would work well on vellum because I had some you know, not so great experiences in the past. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm stamping it on the vellum and right afterwards I'm grabbing my um, scrubber pad from Hero Arts and my Hero Arts Ult Ultra Clean Spray, spraying the cleaner into the scrubber pad and immediately rubbing off the stays on ink. Rubbing it off here and then I'm going to dry it off on the other side and then, um, you know, because I read that stays on ink really stains your, your stamps and magically, when you look at it, absolutely clear. So, I, I mean, I did this like immediately, you know, I literally stopped what I was doing and did this immediately and there was no staining, so yay! Um, I'm now less worried about using stays on ink. Now, um, the reason why I stamped on vellum is because I didn't want like anything to cover up the bow. So I kind of wrapped the vellum around this panel, then put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back. Just gonna work this off like the release paper, adhering this. And now you can see the bow through the vellum, like, because you know, the bow is the star of the show. I didn't want it, to, uh, didn't want it obscured. Here I have a piece of craft foam, as you can see. I, I, 
added liberal amounts of tape to the back of it so it will stay put. This is just to add some dimension to it and here on the back of the craft foam now um, I have also added some adhesive and now I'm applying it to my card base. Sorry for my head getting in the way there. Um, you could leave the card as is but those of you who know me know I always need to you know tweak the details and so I'm using my Tombow Mono glue to adhere some sequins from Pretty Pink Posh and the colors Sparkling Clear and Rose Gold because you know I think that's just absolutely gorgeous and you can see that by using just a single die I was able to create a an entire card and you could use it for literally any occasion you could use it for a birthday, um, for like wedding and you know any type of celebration basically. You can vary the color scheme to match it to the person that you're sending it to. Maybe you're sending it to the guy so you might be using colors like green and blue but you know I like rose gold so that's the color that I used. Um, I hope this gave you some inspiration for the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month kit. If you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up, a comment and subscribe because I will have one more video showcasing the use of this die set in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!